Representing Dennis Johnson are his widow Donna and his brother Gary, who are welcomed uh, by Larry Bird, class of 1998. Ladies and gentlemen, Donna Johnson and Gary Johnson. Thank you. It's humbling, very humbling. I'm just here to say thanks for my brother. Such a, he was such a great guy. And I know he would want me to mention everybody that got him here. <clears throat> but first of all, we'd have to mention God first, because we grew up at New Hope Baptist Church in Wilmington, California. That was our home. <clears throat> I want to say thanks to Donna and Larry. <clears throat> All our friends, the rest of the family, his son, Dwayne, Daniel, and Denise. I want to say hi to my daughters. I want to say hi to both my beautiful daughters, Casey and Trinice, my sister, and my brother, Kenny. No matter what, we still love you dearly. And DJ does too. But first of all, I know that Dennis would want to give thanks to a lot of people. And two of them will be his parents first. My mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Charles Johnson, taught them everything. My dad was a good dad. My mom just... Just didn't have any quit in her. So it was obvious that Dennis being the guy he was, he's like, he never, he never knew when to quit. He just never gave up. He never was the best one in, on the team in high school. But in college, it starts changing. So I want to say thank you to my mom and my dad and my grandparents also. They were just uh, two other great people. Thanks to my brother Charles, who was his main influence and our family's inspiration. Just, just a wonderful guy to be around, funny. Had both his legs amputated at the age of 12 and never gave up. Went on to pursue a college degree and um, coached us. And then was a special person. He taught four brothers how to swim and didn't even know how to swim. <laughs> it was like, when I finally grew up, I said, yeah, you, you remember, you taught us how to swim. <laughs> he said, yeah, I did, but I didn't know how to swim myself. <laughs> I'm like, wow, thank you. But he was really an inspiration. We just loved him dearly. And there's my brother, Kenny, always found time to help Dennis with his jump shot. He wouldn't have had that jump shot, one for my brother, Kenny. He spent hours with him. Every summer, weekends, nights. There's a couple other people I like to thank for keeping those gyms open at night for us. You know, Jim Newman from Compton JC, Bill, Bill Sages from San Pedro High. Was like, they kept the gyms open for 10 o'clock every night, every weekend. They were just good people. <clears throat> There's a whole lot of people that I know he would want me to thank. I want to thank, especially his coaches. I've seen Casey. Um, I've seen Casey Jones and his coach from Seattle, Lenny Wilkins. Thanks for giving my brother a chance to start. After that, it changed. It changed. He was ready to go. You know, and plus the NBA family, it's just, it, they're just fantastic. He's just been treated just like royalty this, these couple days, and I'm a fan. And, man, I am totally blown away by you guys. You guys are just fantastic. And I love you guys, and I love you guys for loving my brother, 
But you know, there was one, there was one other person I just really wanted to thank when I got up here. But I knew I was going to be nervous because I'm not really a public speaker. But there was just one other person because <clears throat> being a fan, we watch a lot of ESPN, TNT, and we listen to the sportscaster. But there was always one person that um, they kept my brother's name out there. It's like you guys ought to be ashamed of yourself. It's shameful. <laughs> And I'd like to thank Charles Barkley for just keeping his name out there. <laughs> I just thought it was great. And I, I really appreciated that. And you don't know how my family was moved by that. And, and, and every day, you know, we just, we just want to say thank you. And, and thank you for inducting my brother. Thank you, Larry. My sister-in-law, Donna. Donna, I just want to say thank you. For Dennis, my brother. <laughs>